Platanoprost is one of the most commonly used glaucoma eye drops. Today, we're getting into the five pros and the five cons of using this medication. Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Sia Nagori. I'm a board certified ophthalmologist as well as a glaucoma specialist and you're watching the ifacts.com channel. If you wanna stay in the know on all things related to eye health, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button below. Let's dive in. So first I wanna talk about the pros of Latanoprost. The biggest pro and why a lot of glaucoma specialists like myself really like the drop is because it's actually really good at lowering eye pressure. The eye drop has a specific mechanism of increasing the outflow of the liquid in your eye called the aqueous humor through a specific pathway called the uveoscleral pathway. And it actually has the potential to reduce intraocular pressure, which we also call IOP, by 25 to 35 percent and that is pretty significant but what good is an eye drop if you can't remember to take it or you have a really tough time taking it well another huge benefit with latanoprost is that it's once daily dosing this means that patients only have to take the drop once at night making it really easy to stick to the regimen. The vast majority of other eye drops need to be taken at least twice a day but do patients like the eye drop? I would say that this is actually another pro of the eye drop is that it's pretty well tolerated over time. It has a pretty good safety profile and it's often used for long periods of time with minimal systemic side effects. Systemic side effects means that it doesn't really affect other parts of your body except for your eye. For example, something like Timolol, which is a beta blocker, has the potential, although it's low, to affect your heart rate, blood pressure, and even your breathing. Another potential pro that some patients really like is that latanoprost can make your eyelashes longer. It's actually very similar to the compound in a drop called Latisse, which is actually approved specifically for eyelash growth. Finally, the fifth pro of latanoprost that is very cost effective. The eye drop is now available widely in a generic form, and so it's more affordable than some of the newer options out there. Now, before we get to the cons, if you have found this video helpful thus far, be sure to hit the subscribe button below as well as a like button. It really helps out the channel. Thank you so much. Now let's move on to the cons of latanoprost. One of the biggest downsides to latanoprost is the potential for iris color changes. And this is a potentially serious side effect because when it happens, it's usually permanent, but it really doesn't happen to every patient. It is way more concerning in patients who have light colored eyes like blue eyes, green eyes, or hazel eyes. What it does is it can increase the melanin in the iris and then cause permanent darkening of your eye color. This does happen gradually and it tends to be more noticeable in people who are only using it in one eye. Now, another con to the eye drop is that can cause eyelid and skin changes. This eye drop can cause darkening of the eyelid skin and changes in the eyelash appearance, as mentioned earlier. For patients who don't want longer eyelashes, this could be a problem. Another potential downside to the drop is that it can cause eye redness and irritation. It is actually a fairly common side effect of latanoprost to have some conjunctival redness or hyperemia or sort of a reddish or bloodshot appearance to the eye. There may also be some mild stinging associated with it. But because we ask you to take the drop at night, this redness should subside by the morning, but you should talk to your doctor if it doesn't seem to go away. One more rare risk of this eye drop is something called macular edema. The risk of having macular edema does go up in patients who have had cataract surgery and have an artificial lens in the eye, in patients who have diabetic retinopathy, as well as patients who have something called an epiretinal membrane. But overall, getting macular edema is not very common. The last negative aspect to latanoprost is the potential for having facial structural changes, which is also called prostaglandin-associated periorbitopathy. It is called that because prostaglandin is the type of drug that latanoprost is. In patients who have been using the drop for many years, they can have a deepening of this upper eyelid sulcus and loss of fat around the eye, which is known as peri orbital fat atrophy. This can give patients the appearance of having sunken eyes over time, and these changes can be very cosmetically noticeable after several years. If you don't want to take latanoprost, you should ask your doctor about SLT laser and if that might be an option for you. There's another video on this channel that goes over 
all the things you need to know about SLT laser. So be sure to check that out if you're interested in that. From my experience as a glaucoma specialist, the vast majority of my patients take latanoprost very successfully, very safely. And while I have done SLT laser on many of my patients, and I think it's a very safe option, there are some patients who are not great candidates for it because they have a really hard time keeping their eye open. If you have any other questions about glaucoma or glaucoma eye drops, be sure to drop them in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.